everyone and then Nan has surely heard the news. So I'll do my best to keep this short and sweet. We are allowing simulcasting on any live streaming service. As of August 2023, Dan Clancy, the CEO of Twitch, announced that multi-streaming for Twitch to any other platform is now allowed, with one major caveat that I'll get into later. Some of you may have already been saying f*** it and multi-streaming for years, but for those newcomers looking to take advantage of a wider audience on other platforms, here are the three main ways to do so. My name is Big Winter, and let's dive right in. I will get to the pros and cons of each method towards the end, but first is one many have heard of already, but it's restreamed to I.O. It is by far the easiest to use and already has the option baked into OBS. It requires no plugins or even really any technological know-how. You just need to sign up for a free account and select up to two platforms you want to send your stream to. There is a paid version with a few more features and you can stream to more than two platforms if you wish, but the free one does not have a watermark and is perfect if you're looking to stream to Twitch and another platform like YouTube or Kick. Next is the multi-RTMP plugin for OBS. This one is a little bit more in depth, but honestly, it's still really simple to use. Start by downloading and installing the plugin into your OBS. Next time you boot it up, you should be able to see this window. From here, you can add in as many additional platforms to stream to as you wish. Just grab the server info and the stream key from either YouTube or Kick and input them where directed. For example, if you want to stream to Twitch, Kick, and YouTube, select Twitch as your main stream target and then add both the Kick and YouTube streams down here in the plugin. I tend to advise just selecting use same as main OBS for ease of use, but you can customize the video quality and audio tracks that you send to each platform if you wish and I'll touch on this in the pros and cons. My final option and honestly my favorite plugin for OBS is the vertical plugin by Atom. If you ever heard of this guy then you definitely know this one already. This plugin was initially put together to take vertical clips of your content for short form platforms but we're going to repurpose it today. First up download and install the plugin, relaunch OBS then head over to the settings of the plugin and simply change the canvas size to 1920 by 1080 or any other horizontal resolution of your choice. Insert your desired platform of choice, add in your scenes, sources, and you're honestly good to go. If you don't want to add in all your scenes and sources again from scratch and you're happy just mirroring your primary stream target, just create identical scenes, link them, and then add the entire scene in. For example, if you have your normal chat scene, make a new chat scene in the vertical plugin, link the two scenes together so they both change when you change scenes, and then add your whole main chat scene into your new item one, like so. This uses far less resources, but it does lack customization. As promised, let's dive into the pros and the cons of each method. So for Restream, this one is super simple. There's no extra encoding or bandwidth. You just send one stream out and get that copy to all target platforms. The negative to this is that every stream is identical. Alerts, scenes, resolution quality will all be the same to the two platforms you're sending them to. And if you want more options, it's no longer free. With multi-RTMP, this one is slightly more complicated, especially if you just want to send the same stream to whichever platform you wish. But one of the pros is that you can send out different quality streams. For example, if you want to send a stream to Twitch, Kick, and YouTube, you can do that and you can change the quality for YouTube to be higher or you could change the audio tracks that go to Kick. What I would say though is it might be smart to send the VOD track to Kick and YouTube to avoid any DMCA issues. The only con to this is that all of the alerts and scenes will still be identical but it would require more encoding resources and more network bandwidth the more streams you want to send out at different qualities. Finally, with Atom, the pros to this are that you can customize each individual platform stream from alerts and overlays to the resolution and quality. You also get the option of backtrack recording baked in, individual from your main OBS, plus you have the option of streaming to your vertical platforms like TikTok and Instagram if you wanted to. The cons to Atom are that you can only stream to two platforms at once, and because each stream is its own separate thing, it does require more PC resources and bandwidth. Although, what you could do is you could use a combination approach. If you wanted Twitch and Kick to be the same, use stream and then you could use Atom to stream to just YouTube or you could use the multi RTMP to go to Twitch, Kick and YouTube and use the Atom plugin to stream vertically to TikTok. But you get the idea, you can customize your approach to suit your needs and to match your PC and network specs. And finally, the one major caveat I alluded to earlier, yes Twitch does now allow multi streaming but they explicitly said that you are not allowed to combine chats into one overlay on stream. They say it's due to moderation issues but yeah sure. Now this might not sound like a big deal to some of you, but the biggest issue with multi-streaming is that without a combined chat, each stream does feel isolated from one another, and it honestly makes each isolated stream worse than if you were just streaming to that platform. It's like hopping into a conversation late and you can't really tell who the other person's talking to, it's just a bit weird. So honestly, I just say screw it and do it anyway. The combined chat that I use at the moment is by Botrix, it's nice, it allows you to add badges for each platform to differentiate, but you could always just select not to do that if you don't want to arouse suspicion. Paris 
Nutella recently had Dan Clancy, again, the CEO of Twitch, in his chat whilst he was multi-streaming with a combined overlay and there were no issues. So honestly, I think it's fine. For legal reasons though, don't quote me in court. If you want to learn more about combining your chats on screen and within OBS for you, the streamer, let me know and I'll put out a video on what I'm using currently at the moment. I hope this is helpful. Remember to like and sub if you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see next and much love.